Hello artists. Today in art class, we're gonna be listening to a story called Camille and the Sunflowers. And it's all about the artist Vincent Van Gogh and his love of painting sunflowers. When we're done listening to the story, I'm gonna teach you how to make a weaving. And we're gonna turn that little tiny weaving into your very own sunflower. For the center of our flower, we're gonna take a lid or something round to trace. Um, it doesn't have to be super big, but you don't want it to be teeny tiny either. This is a lid from a jar of frosting. Um, you could use maybe a small bowl or um, a small cup to trace, a mug, um, and you're gonna trace that on your paper over here and then we're going to cut the circle or actually just cut around it you don't have to cut it out completely just yet and just set your extra paper aside and then we're going to color the middle of the flower um, the sunflower so you could use green you could use brown kind of depends on the type of sunflower and where it's at um, with you know when it when it has bloomed and when it's growing and when I was at Zilke's sunflower festival some of them were really really green in the middle some were darker so I'm gonna make mine brown like that. I'm going to color it all in and then I'm going to cut it out. I'm just going to cut next to that line. It's okay if you leave a little bit of white edge on the paper, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of white. If you don't like the white and you want to cut that, just be, and you want to cut it off, just be very careful. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take that circle and we're going to lay it down flat with the brown or whatever green side up, whatever color you did, and you're going to fold it up neatly in half. On the side with the fold, here's the fold right there. We're going to draw a line that goes up, but not too far. And then we're going to leave some space. We're going to draw one more line here, one more line here, and looks like maybe I could fit one more line right there, but I don't think I could fit it here because I would end up cutting it off. So I'm going to cut on those lines very carefully. I start on the fold and I stop when I get to the end of that line. Then I'm going to open this up. Okay, I'm going to lay that down. Then I'm going to take that piece of paper I was just using, right? And I'm going to cut this top part off here and I'm going to use this. So I have a chunk of paper that's a little bit bigger than the circle. And I'm going to choose a color to color this in. And I know, um, I think what I'm going to do is I might use, I don't really have a darker brown. So I think I might even try using black on mine, but you could use another uh, a green. Um, you could use a different kind of brown, whatever you want. And we're just gonna kind of color this quickly. You don't wanna have a lot of the white paper showing, but you don't have to spend a lot of time coloring this. You can just kind of color it quickly. 
like that. And I don't think I'm gonna need it, the, it to be this long, but I'm just gonna kinda color it in anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this paper into little strips that I'm gonna weave. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut, 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 and cut. So I got, I have five strips. I won't need all five because this is gonna fill up pretty quickly. In fact, it might even be easier if I used a smaller piece. Um, I think I'm going to cut this the long way down the middle like this so they're skinnier. And I open, see how the brown paper is open and here are the little strips I'm going to weave through. I'm going to start on top and then I'm going to go under over the next strip under the next one, oops, under, over. All right, and I'm just gonna leave the ends sticking out for now. They, they, won't, they won't be in the way the whole time, but I'm gonna take the other half of that strip. See, this one started on top, so on the next one I have to start under. And then I go on top, under, over, under, and I pull it all the way through, and I push it over so it's nice and tight on the side. Now I'm gonna take a strip here, and I'm gonna cut this again. I like using the skinnier pieces on this. Now if I was doing a bigger weaving, I would start with bigger pieces. I'd maybe add in some little ones later, but Okay, so I want this to look like a pattern. And right now I have black and then this brown space. So here I wanna put black. So I wanna start on top and then go under, over, under, over. And I'm gonna take my other skinny piece. And then, since this one's on top, I'm gonna to start under, over, under, over, under. And pull it through. Looks like I might be able to fit one more, maybe. Maybe if it's really skinny. So I'm gonna cut one more skinny piece. And that one's gonna start on top because this was brown. And then it's gonna go under. Over. Under. Oh, there we go. Over and I slide it in. Okay. So there we go. Now, this um, looks kind of weird sticking out on the sides, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to look very carefully. We're going to hold it. And I would just kind of hold the, end, the side and just trim the edge. Boop. Boop so it's not sticking out off the edges like that. And then you do the same thing over here, but you gotta kind of hold them down. Pinch them and hold them in place so they don't wiggle on you. All right, so there's the middle of my flower and that's my weaving. That's where the seeds would be in our sunflower. Now, this, and I'm gonna fold it, 
I'm gonna move this so you can see it better. I'm gonna fold it in half. I'm gonna fold it in half, and I'm gonna try and fold it one more time in half. I'm gonna draw a big petal on here, my sunflower petal. So I'm gonna start here at the end, and I'm gonna end over here at the end. And I'm gonna draw a curvy line that goes all the way up and down. So it's kind of like a frown. And then I'm gonna go all the way down and over like a smile. And I'm gonna cut it out. So I'm gonna cut on right outside of that line. I'm cutting through all the sheets of paper. That way I only have to cut once, but I get lots and lots of petals. Okay. So you should have Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight petals when you're done. And the petals are gonna go around this part of the flower. This will be the weaving part, the woven part will be the middle. So we're gonna make the petals for our sunflowers. And I'm gonna stick this little sheet underneath so I can color. And you can color your petals with oranges and yellows. Um, you can go ahead and kind of fill those in. I'm gonna show you how to do one. And yours doesn't have to look exactly like this. but I'm just gonna give you an idea. So you wanna fill in your petal. Okay. And then I'm gonna take, whoops, might wanna hold it down as you color so it doesn't flip up. And then I'm gonna take this darker orange and I'm just gonna kinda I'm gonna add a little bit of line to the middle of it just to make it stand out. And I might even put a little bit on the edge too. I like how it makes it stand out just a little bit more. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and color all your petals. So I'm gonna work on mine and I'll be back in just a minute or maybe a couple minutes. We're gonna take those leaves that we made earlier and we're gonna attach them around. So what you might want to do is kind of lay them out around underneath your flower. And if you need an extra one, you might want to use a scrap or you might be able to just kind of spread them out a teeny tiny bit, depending on how you do it or squeeze them in a little bit. Just kind of figure out where you want them to go, like that. And then keep them there. Lift this up, whoop. Try to do it without moving all of them. Take your glue and don't move them or pick them up. Just hold them in place, put some glue right on the ends like that. Oops. I guess that one was kind of overlapped, wasn't it? That's okay. And then we're gonna gently lay the middle part of our flower right down on top, and then we're gonna push it down all the way around. And if you want, you could even take a little black or brown crayon. You could add a little more, a few more seeds to the middle. of your sunflower, or you could take green. You could add it. Any other little details. If you have scraps and you wanna maybe use them to make some green leaves sticking off of it, you could even do that. Come in here. You could create a stem. If you have 
a longer piece of paper. In fact, you probably have some paper left from earlier. You could even make a stem if you wanted to there too. And that's how we would make our sunflower. When you have your weaving all done, you're gonna have all those beautiful petals glued around your weaving. And they should be glued on the back so you don't see any of that on the front. You should have your weaving in the middle and all of your petals should be colored in. If you didn't get a chance, you can go back and just finish filling them in. I hope you had a great time learning about Vincent Van Gogh, listening to Camille and the Sunflowers, and learning how to do some paper weaving. See you next time.